proud of the way that our kids competed. Um, I, I don't know if I could ask anything more of our defense to be able to hold an offense to 17 points with as many weapons as they have with a Bryce Love and a J.J. Arcega Whiteside, a Trent Irwin, a Colby Parkinson. You, you know, I thought they did a, a great job of getting off the field, and we had talked about that as we could not let it be a, a, a dominating uh, time of possession game for Stanford, and they were 4 of 13 and, and really kept us in the game. Um, I thought special teams-wise played good team football. I thought our coverage units did a tremendous job of pinning them deep, uh, not only in the punt game but also in the kickoff coverage game. Really didn't get a pitch to hit um, as far as in the return game um, to be able to set field position. Offensively, it was one of those games where you sit there and you're starting off from the minus 22-yard line. That was the average, and you're having to go the long way and you have the six first first six drives or you know eight plays 10 plays 13 plays seven plays nine plays and you end up getting to the plus side of the territory and then stalling out and that was the difference in the game uh, they, they finished two drives and and out executed us in the red zone Offensively, uh, where's the focus this week? Where do you need to improve the most? Um, I, I think really is just finishing drives. Um, you know, when we got we got down several times, the ball was moving, um, but just not putting it in the end zone. Um, missed a couple opportunities, I think, on some uh, explosion passes down the field. You know, we're just an inch from staying in bounds. Um, you know, on a corner route to Almond Ra. You, you know, we uh, we call a double move, and uh, you know, we looked at one side and the other. Side, other side was open. Those are things that are going to happen early in the season. We got to get them corrected, and uh, you know, finishing drives I think is the biggest key for us right now. Red zone efficiency. Really thin at the safety spot defensively. Mm -hmm. what, are, what are your challenges when you're working this week? Um, you know, we had two two kids come in after Isaiah Polamalu went down, which was sad. He was playing such great football in the first two games. Um, but, uh, you, you know, I was very proud of both C.J. Pollard and Talanoa Fanga who came in and, and did their job and, and both played effectively. Um, you know, we'll move uh, Chase Williams there also uh, to be able to um, contribute and learn the position and to provide depth uh, as we go into Texas. Another huge opportunity with Texas this week to break mm -hmm. them down. Uh, what do you see from the Longhorns offensive? Um, they've improved from last year. They've gotten a year older. It's the same personnel, but uh, obviously the quarterback is playing uh, playing good football now, making smart decisions. He's got a host of wideouts that are not only long uh, but talented. I think Colin Johnson is one of the better wideouts in the country right now. Um, and defensively, they just provide you headaches. I mean, they, they are zone pressure all over the place, and you're guessing where it's coming from. Um, it should be a challenge for a young quarterback. And finally, uh, tough atmosphere, maybe the toughest will be mm -hmm. all season. Uh, what's the, the message, what's the, what's the key to the players to, to make that not be a, a huge factor? <laughs> Just focus on their job. You know, uh, focus on the job at hand, what they've got to do fundamental technique and assignment wise. You, you know, don't, don't get caught up in the hype of the game, get caught up in our preparation and get caught up in executing your assignment. All right, thanks so much. Good luck this week. All righty, guys, fight on.